Hello and welcome to a new video. It's a beautiful sunny afternoon in autumn uh, 2022 and uh, I took the opportunity to come out and take some pictures of autumnal uh, trees and colors. Uh, but before I start to, to go and uh, shoot pictures, let me introduce uh, my new tripod to you. This is a tripod I just got and I haven't used it. Uh, it's the first time I'm trying to, to use this tripod. It's a Artis's uh, AS80C tripod. Uh, it's a fi uh, carbon fiber tripod and uh, it's supposed to be a very good tripod. So I'm gonna try it today. So I cannot give you a verdict about this, but I can give you the reason why I bought this uh, tripod. Before, I have I have been using this tripod, Indoro uh, AT013 tripod, and as you can see, compared to this one, is much much smaller and a little bit lighter. This one is not too heavy. It's definitely heavier than this one. Uh, but it's not too heavy. So both of these tripods comes with this uh, twist locks system. This is how tall is this tripod. I'm about 180 centimeters, 178 centimeters tall and this tripod is very big. It's huge. Compared to this one, it's, it's big. <laughs> Even with the extended uh, central column, on the, my Enduro tripod. This one is much, much higher. Uh, of course, uh, now this one doesn't have the ball head. The ball head is on this one, but uh, here is the, the top of the tripod. So the first reason I bought this tripod is the height. I, I wanted to have a high, uh, very tall tripod. And uh, for that reason, I'm very, very happy with this. The second reason is uh, this one, is you can consider it as a travel tripod. It's light and it's thin. The, the legs are very thin, as you can see here. Compared to this one, even the, the, the thinner section of these legs are thicker than the, 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 this one on top of the, uh, the, the main, main uh, uh, section of the, the legs. Maybe that wasn't, that was the second reason I bought this one. But the first reason was this. It's a, it's a, uh, instead of the fixed head, it has a ball head here. And you can twist this, release it uh, and adjust the level, the, this just, just the top portion of the tripod and then lock it. Therefore, you don't have to fiddle with the, the legs a lot to adjust the height and the level of the, the tripod. And because it doesn't have the central column, so I can open up the legs and go low completely, like just this uh, 14 centimeter height uh, from the ground level and then I can go as low as I want, which is great because with this one I cannot do that. When I, because of the, you always limit it with the with the lens of the the central column here on these type of tripods, so I cannot go too low. Even though the legs are opening like this, the same angle as this one. This lock mechanism here. This, this art, you have to pull out and then open and pull back to, to secure it. On this artist's tripod, the only thing you have to do is pull this, this uh, lock here and then the leg is free to move and it's automatically switched back. So overall, I think it's a, it's a great uh, replacement and this tripod comes with the spikes for the legs uh, that I can I can switch this uh, rubber legs uh, rubber uh, foot to spikes and that's gonna give the tripod extra 
sturdiness in in uh, in rocky uh, or sandy uh, environments so that's great uh, this tripod is it's much less expensive than the other competitors in this class uh, it's around 200 uh, US dollars so it's not bad it's not cheap but it's not bad compared to others that they they charge so much more for such a huge tripod and I haven't seen the tripod that comes that height you know uh, not much actually most of them they they only can can be tall as 150 centimeters or something like that 140 50 centimeters this one goes up to here which is almost 160 centimeter as you saw so it's very good because um, found, I found myself in situations that I need to uh, get to higher uh, attitude for my camera and I couldn't do that with this one <coughs> but I should say I love this Indoro tripod uh, it's been serving me for over eight years now and I had no issue with it despite this is a little bit small and even it's a uh, thin and light it's quite sturdy so it's a very very good tripod I 100% recommend this one for as a travel tripod that's it that's enough for the talking uh, me talking about tripods and let's uh, start to go and take pictures I'm next to the lake and I've been here uh many times and i took picture of these oak trees in different seasons but actually not in autumn i think uh definitely in uh spring and in uh winter uh, i will put the pictures uh, some of the pictures on the screen now you can see uh today is quite windy and I hope you can hear me well with these, uh, all of this noise from the wind. I am shooting this branch here against the blue sky, I mean clouds and blue sky. I like this, this branch that comes from the corner and pointing towards this one. Yeah, so it's a uh, one under second position. I, this, this side that is blinking now, it's a little bit empty. It's, it's clouds so maybe clouds can give me some texture there uh, I'm not sure but we'll see in, in post so I just uh, try to have uh, this small branch comes from the corner and this one uh, I have a little bit of a challenge here with the wind actually so uh, to, to fight it and to freeze the leaves from moving I had to uh, increase my ISO to 640 f11 because I want to have maximum depth some some branches like those uh, small ones are in different heights so I want everything to be in, uh, in focal uh, uh, distance or depth of field so it everything here should be sharp I'm actually using a polarizer as well. I can remove the polarizer and take it on picture without that. I don't think it's gonna add much to this image. Maybe, maybe just a little bit of the sky texture. Uh, but let's have a look how does it look like without the polarizer. So I can actually go back to ISO 400 or something let's go 120 uh, seconds for shutter speed two second timer and yeah take a picture i think i've found the very nice composition here uh, I'm shooting towards 
uh, the first tree uh, from the side, from the back, kind of. And I have a dead tree here in the middle between me and that tree. And I have uh, uh, some uh, field of with, uh, grass that are backlit. So they are super nice, uh, very beautiful subject for the for the foreground that creates uh, some uh, depths and layers in this image. Uh, let me show you what I have here now. I'm shooting toward this tree here, uh, which is uh, the first tree on my uh, that when I came here, it's my the first tree I see, and then I have this uh, dead tree between me and uh, the tree. Uh, which is very interesting and it has a nice uh, shape to the branch they, they are mimicking the, the, the main branch of the or trunk of the subject tree here and then I have a beautifully uh, backlit grass in foreground uh, so it creates uh, layers uh, the only thing that I'm not super sure about is this uh, the lake and uh, the lake and this uh, small uh, tree in the background next to the lake shore which is uh, which can be a little bit distracting uh, but I decided to include it because it, it was hard to to just uh, get rid of it uh, otherwise I will lose some of the other uh, interesting part of the image here I definitely take advantage of the height of this, this tripod now uh, I couldn't get this image without this tripod with this height because uh, with the other one I would be a bit low and uh, the dead tree will would uh, covers the main tree a little bit more right now it's not ideal either I would uh, like to have a little bit more separation between these two which uh, it seems to be very difficult. Well actually I moved a little bit uh, to remove that tree from the side of the frame. Uh, I came to this side a little bit uh, then of course I'm inc including another bush or a small tree here uh, and I'm losing some of the, the nice grass uh, in foreground. Well, this is, uh, as I said, it's a compromise. So I'm gonna check, uh, see if this one uh, works better or not. Um, have to wait and uh, see them on the, on the big screen. But so far, I guess it's a, it's a nice, nice image. This moment here is very, very beautiful, despite the wind, but the light is gorgeous. And this area is quite nice with all of these uh, oak trees and uh, other trees that I don't know <laughs> what are they. Sun is setting behind me and I'm still shooting these uh, trees uh, that I, I found here. And they are, uh, are getting, it's getting dark now and uh, it's quite windy as I said the whole time <laughs> several times sorry <laughs> but uh, it's uh, challenging a little bit and now I'm taking picture of this tree here which has a very very beautiful shape like a DNA shape to it it goes all the way up and I really like that one I took a, a vertical picture of the whole tree here and then I'm zooming in a little bit uh, to take a picture of the middle section of it. So the image just looks like that. So I, I don't mind the, the sky here in this image. Uh, yeah, it would be nice if I didn't have it, but it's not distracting because it's quite dark and I can, it's uh, blue. It gives a good, good contrast. Uh, so it's only blue and yellowish colors 
mostly in this image so I don't mind this it's quite nice yeah it's quite nice this is a very nice image and Sun is setting right now huh. well I'm not in the mood of the taking picture of this uh, sunset <laughs> but I'm enjoying that I just enjoy that So right now I'm just sitting here enjoying the sunset which is very very gorgeous, beautiful, nice, nice colors in the clouds and the sky. The sun is getting down, it's uh, becoming cold, my hands are, are freezing now. Uh, it's, been a, it's been very nice uh, to be out here in this evening. The light was quite nice. Uh, it was a little bit harsh to be honest, but uh, it was also very, very gorgeous for the sunset especially uh, yeah so maybe the images I took today they are not uh, my best images of uh, this year but uh, they are quite okay I think at least a few of them the main reason I was here was to test this new tripod and also to take advantage of uh, the autumn colors and I wanted to be here in autumn to take picture of these uh, oak trees around uh, this area and uh, yeah so mission accomplished <laughs> I'm really happy with the tripod so far I think it's uh, I need to get used to the the bulk of it it's a little bit bulkier than the one that I used to have which is the my video tripod from today so from now on I will have a tripod to put on my uh, video camera on it and I can stand in here and uh, uh, video uh, myself, film myself, which is great. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you liked the images as well. So please give it a thumbs up and uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. That will help the channel a lot. So until next time. Uh, take care and have a great time. Bye.